Hello Python programmers, so in this video, we will discuss how to work on Arduino temperature sensor using Python. Now this video is part of a Arduino with Python playlist where I discussed various Arduino component with Python. Now why is this so important that I have created a specific playlist for this? As we all know that Arduino has its own ecosystem, its own IDE and basically its own ecosystem. Okay. Now if I'm able to take the data or give the commands to these Arduino components straight from my Python code. How awesome will it be? How awesome projects can I make with the capability of both Arduino components and Python? This is what I'm exploring in this playlist. I have created multiple videos till now. A list or a screenshot of all those projects will be present on your screen. If you want, you can check them out. So without further ado, let's start with this video. So first of all, let's see that what are the hardware and software requirements. So in hardware requirements, you need Arduino Uno, some jumper wires and your sensor. Okay, I'll provide all the links in the description if you want to buy the same exact piece that I'm using. And if not, you can buy from anywhere you want. Okay. It's all on you. Now, when it comes to software requirements, first of all, you have to install the Arduino ID. Now, I know I made a huge speech about how awesome will it be to use Python with Arduino components. And then I'm asking you to use the ID. So wait a bit. Let me explain it to you. This IDE or this ecosystem will be used only once to start up our code or to install our code on our board. Okay, after that, everything from controlling to getting the data and doing all the calculation will be done on a Python program only. Okay, this ID is required only once. Okay, so you can do one thing, open your browser and simply write Arduino, press enter, uh, go to this software link. I'll also provide the link in the description. You can buy it from there and then click on whatever version of OS you are using. Okay. Then you need to install Python. I guess you know how to install Python. If not, I'll provide some link in the description from where you can see how to install Python. Okay. ID that I'm using is sublime text and uh, okay. So you also have to install one package which is called serial. So just go to your command prompt and write pip install pip install pi serial press enter and this package will be installed for you for me this is already installed make sure that you are not writing serial here okay serial is a different package pi serial is a different package okay let me show you a pi serial Pi serial is a different package. This is the PyPy of Pi serial. You have to install this package. Don't install serial. Otherwise, you will not be able to follow on with this project. Okay. So with the hardware and software section being done, let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay. So we are inside our Arduino editor. So uh, after you have opened your editor, you will get a new tab somewhat like this. After this, what you have to do is you have to go to tools, manage libraries. It will take some time to load. And you have to write simple DTH here. Okay. Simple. Just a second. Simple DTH. Or was it simple DHT? Just a second. Just a second. Let me check. Okay. So it was simple DHT. My bad. My bad. This is the package that you have to install. Okay. This is by WinLin. Okay. Select uh, 1.0.15. This is the version that I am using. And it's always preferred to uh, install the package version that your tutor is using. Okay. After that, you can experiment on your own. But for starter code, you, uh, you should install the exact package version. Okay. Now, after that, why did I close it? After you have installed the package, go to files, uh, then examples, files, examples, go 
down you will find simple dth and simple dth 1 1 default okay now you can see this is the exact code that i have opened over here okay now you don't have to make any changes here i guess you don't have to make any changes here so let me explain you the code real quick you don't have to understand much of this only thing that matters is you are getting the temperature and humidity from here okay but still i'll try to explain you the code so that in case you get some error you you can correct it yourself also okay so first is this variable pin dht11 this is the pin on which our sensor is connected okay so our sensor is connected on the second pin i'll show you when i am connecting in our connection section okay then we are specifying that okay this is the pin and we have connected this simple dht11 okay then this is the void loop this is the main loop okay this is serial pin uh, if you want you can remove it this is of no use if you want you can remove it uh, then byte temperature is equal to zero and byte humidity is equal to zero these are the variables in which your humidity and temperature will be saved okay then int err this will get our temperature and uh, humidity now if the connection of the sensor is not accurate or if there is some problem with our sensor then this if condition will be executed and you will get some error okay but if everything goes right then we'll simply print sample okay this is a simple print statement then int of temperature okay this is the temperature which is coming from your sensor and this is the humidity that is coming from your sensor c is the degree celsius and this is for humidity okay then with a delay of 1500 units we'll start this loop once again okay now this was a short explanation of your arduino code however it doesn't matter because it comes with your package uh, this code comes with your package you don't have to make any changes but still it's good to know that how the code is working so that you can edit the data or change the data that you want okay so we are only interested in these two lines this is where we are getting our data okay so this was the arduino code now let's get to the connection part okay so let's discuss our connection section these are the hardware required for the project as I mentioned before, first is your Arduino Uno, this is the microcontroller. Then we have this temperature sensor. You also need some jumper wires. Uh, basically, we need three male to female jumper wires. Then this is the connector from your laptop to your Arduino Uno. Okay, now let's see the connection real quick. Let's take a look at uh, how our sensor works. Now, these are the three pins on our sensor. I guess you can see. Let me focus. Yeah. So these are the three pins first is the vcc which is the power then we have data we'll be connecting this to the second digital pin on our you know let me focus it yeah uh, second is data we'll be connecting this to the second digital then we have ground okay uh, let's take our male to female connector wires and let me connect them okay so the first pin from this side is vcc okay so the black one is vcc Let's connect this black one to the 5 volt input in our Arduino Uno. 5 volt is just adjacent to your ground. There you can see. It is just adjacent to your ground. Okay. Then the second pin on your sensor is data. Okay. So the white color wire is data which will be connected to the second digital input so white one will be connected to the second digital input pin now uh, you can change if you want should also be done in your code also okay uh, where is the second in second digital input pin yeah this is the second digital input pin then your last wire or the last pin is ground okay so let's connect this to ground ground uh, we have ground here also so let's connect just adjacent to our five volt okay so 
this was the connection of your temperature sensor to your Arduino Uno. Now, to connect this Arduino Uno to your laptop, connect this uh, wire to your board and then connect this USB to your laptop. Okay. Okay, so with the connection being done, let's get to a Python editor and see how we are writing a Python code. Okay. Okay, so now we are into our editor. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple and straightforward code. Okay. First of all, we have imported serial and time. Okay. The package name was spy serial, but when we import this package, it's serial. Okay. Make sure that the spelling is correct and all the alphabets are small okay then sir this is a variable is equal to serial dot serial make sure that this s is capital here okay the second serial s is capital com5 okay this is the com or the usb port on which your arduino is connected okay when you go here when you go on your uh, arduino id go to tools now currently I haven't connected the Arduino because the USB ports on my laptop is limited but you will get port here okay where this port option is present just below the board you will get the port number it will be something like COM3 or COM5 you just have to paste it straight away here okay then 115200 and timeout is equal to 1 okay then we'll add a sleep or we'll add a delay. Then for I in range 600. Now this is just some random value that I have added. You can uh, create a infinite loop for the infinite values. Or you can write these lines straight away if you want the values only once. Okay. Then line is equal to sir this variable dot read lines dot decode utf8. Okay. This is the encoding then print line this will print your humidity and temperature now this is some condition that i have added so for this condition to work i only want the temperature so what i'll do is i'll uh, open the code once again and i'll comment this part out i'll comment out the humidity part and every serial print part so i only get the temperature and if this temperature is less than 42 okay i don't know why i did this i'll be burning red if the temperature is above 42 so uh if the temperature is above 42 turn on the ac okay this is a simple condition So this was a simple explanation of how you can use this sensor with Python but there is so much more than this. This is a really good sensor for multiple use cases. Now let me think of a very specific use case. Let's say Jersey cows. Let's say you are breeding and milking Jersey cows. Now Jersey cows are from a cold climate. Okay. They are from Switzerland I guess. I don't remember from where they are exactly i guess from switzerland so uh anyways they are from cold climate and in india in most of the places the temperature in summers can go terribly high and they can't survive in high temperatures so they want air conditioning or they want coolers basically they want a lower temperature so what you can do is you can uh, use this sensor in your farm and just trigger the AC whenever the temperature is let's say higher than 30 and this can be very effective in that use case okay this was just a simple example and I will be creating some homemade projects using this sensor so don't worry about that I have already created some projects using the Arduino components whether it's a game controller or a robotic car all of the links will be provided in the description okay you can check them out anyways this is it this was a short explanation for this video and I'll meet you 
in my next lecture bye bye